Welcome to Path of Exile. Now, uh, me and Rockley Smile actually did a short video on Zelda 2. 3, I mean. Fuck. Keep on uh, to call it 2. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep calling it 2. It, maybe it's because my mind wishes that Zelda 3 was not botching what the rest of yeah, the series is. Yeah, it's some psychological displacement issue. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, many players, including me, uh, are calling this game the, the spiritual sequel to what Diablo 3 should have been. And I'm calling that Torchlight 2. Uh, but I don't know that yet, so I'm gonna say that this is also it. Yeah. So I've made some characters. Sandwich guy. Sandwich guy. Sandwich guy! Obviously the big guy, but we're not gonna play this right now. I'm gonna make a Templar, because, you know. The graphics engine reminds me a lot of the Conan MMO. Uh, I've never played. And I'm sorry, I did play that. It was terrible. <laughs> so what we should name our guy? Like, um, Fire Birdie, Space Birdie. No, f well, Space Cancer. He's not Fire Birdie. He's he's the he, he's a Templar. You know, worshiping. Dancing. Oh my God. How do you? No, Gene. Oh, Gene. G E N E. Gene Simons. I S -I -M -M -O -N -S. like this. S-I-M-M-O-N-S. Two M's. Not really. Okay, yeah, sure. And I don't know the... Well, I do, but... Trying to make kiss reference. Invalid characters, but you can't have spaces. Oh my god, it works. I'm just... Nobody's named Gene Simmons yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is only in beta. Did you even mention that yet? No, uh, this game is only in the beta right now. To enter, the game is free. It's gonna be free to play. However, um, come on, get up, get up. There you free go. Free to play, but you have to pay to play it. That's funny. you have to support the game to access the uh, closed uh, beta. It's only ten bucks. It's it, 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 it's all right, and you're, you're not paying for, to, for the key. You pay for in-game currency, and well, in-game, you know, the shop. Currencies or whatever credits or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the credits, and the game, and you know, the company gives you a key to to, to the beta at the same point. So really, you actually pay for in-game store cash, but they give you a key. You know, whatever, get a key. Right, and just like Kickstarter, there's a whole series of different things that you can do to get better and more stuff if you pay more money to them. Yeah. So it went all the way up to like a gold and then a diamond pack, and you get a uh, in-game pet. And like ten thousand credits and all kinds of extra stuff, like there's signed T-shirts and crazy shit. There's a support pack worth uh, two hundred and fifty bucks. No, that was the gold one. I think the highest was the diamond, which was a thousand. Yes, but I, I yeah, one of these packs, uh, the game offers you to create an item with your name on it or or whatever. And they put your name in the credits too. Yeah. Nice, I guess, if you have that kind if of you money. You have a lot of money that you don't have a use for, I guess. Yeah, not me. So this guy is uh, wounded. <laughs> not me either. <laughs> His friend is dead. He's like, oh, you know, we can get out of this, and no, he gets eaten. He's dead. Oh no. Then we wiped the zombie just in like the face. like how Diablo 3 started, kind of. Eh, maybe. At least in, in this game, we actually have no, Id no idea what happens. You know, we are stranded uh, alone with monsters and shit. I was watching Anza play this for a while before and I, I felt like it was much more competent in a lot of ways than actually the new Diablo even is. The graphics engine feels a lot more, like, impactful. It looked like the character customization is a lot more meaningful. This thing has the biggest skill tree out of anything I've ever seen. Oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to show them these. I, I, I thought that the Final, Final Fantasy XII's uh, chessboard of skill trees was massive. This thing, holy shit! <laughs> it's actually Final Fantasy X. No, no, t twelve, ha ten had the the orbs, but twelve had this really big branching path, like. Oh block. yeah, right. But uh, in Final Fantasy XII, it looks like a chessboard, and it, it's a bit more simpler. It's simpler, but I thought there were more meaningful choices in it, but whatever. Yeah, Either yeah. Way, it's a really big skill tree. This yeah, it, one puts all of them to shame. Oh, yeah. But at, at, at least this one has some logic to it. Which I... I'm, I'm, we're we're, we're going to explain this later. For now, whacking zombies in the face. And these traps, too. Yeah. 
Well, you're going to explain it, because I can't yeah. say that I completely understood from the, like, choppy-ass frame for a second that I was watching you play through. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good excuse. I'm not, unfortunately, in the beta to this, so this is all I have is to watch. So for now, you're, you're just working your way to um, level 2 and getting crappy gear to... Re getting ready to beat a boss. What's up? Uh, it should be mentioned also, if you make an account, it looked like from the way their website was set up that every so often they just pick random people to get into the beta also. Uh, yes, I think they do. There was a counter that said like three minutes, and then when that finished, then it said a new name. Yeah. And then the counter started over. So, yeah, it might be worth just making an account in case you accidentally get in. But who wants to wait for ten bucks? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If you don't care, then just pay them ten bucks. It's not like it's a terrible deal. Alright, so you might have realized that I'm not grabbing everything. That's because there is no currency in this game. There is no money. There is no gold. Why is that? We are alone in an island, and pretty much there is no so there is no uh, so society here. You know, there's, there's no taxes, no roads to pay and shit, so... Yeah, no gold. Sorry. Instead, the game works with a uh, truck, with uh, exchanging. And once again, I'm gonna explain it later. For now, there's like this huge guy, and let's go whack his shit. This dude is quite funny too. At mid, at mid health, he's gonna do something really funny. You might miss it, but let's see. Yeah, slide. I, I guess not. Loot. So yeah, uh, what happened is that um, you did not realize, but he pretty much tore a sword from his chest and start yeah like beating your shit up with it. Oh yeah, I couldn't see. Yeah, quite funny. Some bosses will do stuff like this. All right, so now we are in town. So I there is no civilization. Well, it's not civilization. This this is a camp of uh, sick people, it's not really... Oh. Yeah. So th like these guys... Area. Pretty much. These guys are all uh, stranded from the boat we just came in. Well, there, there, there's more than them. I don't... I don't really get the story for now, because I'm not really... You know, I did not beat the game yet. So... Oh, and it's not finished, also. Yeah, that too. There's no cutscenes, apparently. Yeah. As you've seen, when I sell things, I don't get money. I, I, I get sprawls and shit. So what happens is that when you trade something with players, uh, the only currency there is is weapons and these objects. Now, fun thing is that your stash is shared through the accounts and this is pretty much what I have right now. All of these are all different orbs and these orbs are all used in crafting. You can change uh, items and weapons now you see this uh, Driftwood Scepter is a normal item, and I'm gonna change this right now. And you take this, and bam. Now it, now it's a magic item. And Woo! now I can see your graphic settings. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! Weird resolution. <laughs> what well, the hell was that? Could... Oh, it's because you have it in a window, that's why. Yeah, and I can size it as much as I want, so... You know, it's, it, it's for your pretty eyes. So that they do not get strained. And there you go, oh the my character God, there customization. It is. Now you it might looks like the population of a city. Yeah. <laughs> and now the skills. These are the skills. It's gems. And so far he has most of this of the, of the skills that other classes have. So, Ground Slam, Glacial Hammer, and Ice Nova. I have both of these already, so I'm gonna go with Ground Slam. And don't forget to explain the healing items later. Yes, so I have to wait a bit. So yeah, um, here, what's fun is that uh, every classes can use every skills from other classes. Pretty much the skills are not definite to a set class. So I could use Firestorm right now. I'm not high level enough, but I could. So that must for... make the classes really versatile, then. Yes! 
uh, you can use uh, my witch is actually using a aura skill, and it actually works well with uh, with minions and stuff. Pretty sweet, I would say. Huh. Think of it as a, as like guild wars, but this you know the skills are not made for set professions. They're they're really random. Also, each classes have a uh, mana, unlike Diablo three. I well, must in say. Diablo three, they all have a different named other thing. Sometimes it's like rage. Yeah. Whoa! So something happened. Oh, non-zero references. Those can't be good. Uh oh. Crash. Amazing. Anyway, why am I still here? I'm done. Let's go. So, potions. As you might have realized, I only have these bottles now. Unlike uh, pretty much every single game I've seen, they don't go away. They have charges, and these charges come back when you kill monsters. So I'm I'm gonna use one right now, two, three times. Oh, and what's happening? Oh, Fraps is dying. What is this? Give me a sec. Okay, done. Don't do this again. Oh, I got a big club. I'm a priest, motherfucker. Come here. By the way, 200 we weapons. Um, awesome. Now, what's nice is that when, when the game gives you uh, scrolls and orbs, it's pretty much giving you like five items for the price of one. And nice. it stacks, so... Really, what you are looking for is to get as much scrolls of wisdom as you can. Because that's pretty much your money. Objects and, and orbs is what the NPCs will ask for when you ask for uh, special items. And also, How do you establish what's worth what, though? Um, the quality confusing. of items. You know, well, like if you want, I, I don't even know what items like I can say, but I guess if just to, for example, if you wanted to buy six healing potions, even though I know you don't do that in this game, yeah, like how would you determine that six healing potions are worth one club or something? No, they are. They will probably be worth one scroll for like oh. uh, three potions, I would say. But fortunately, no potions because there there is no cash. Because that, that, that would break the game, right? Because if you don't have currency, how do you buy, you know, u utilities, potions, scrolls? So they pretty much removed the potions from, from the balance, and now you get uh, identifying and uh, portal scrolls from selling stuff. Right. Because that's pretty much yeah, all they I was just using that for example. I didn't really mean that it had to be potions. It could have been some minor item like throwing daggers also. Yeah. So now this, a gem cutter's prism, is pretty much a whole gem. So that's worth 20 items. Right off the bat. Thank you, game. Oh, and is this all procedurally generated? or No, that can't be because you're playing it online. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's all random. But how is it random if other people are there with you? What do you mean? If you're all playing the same game, how can it be random for everyone? Well, it's like Zelda 2. It's, it, it's random. Are the people not in the same world as you? Are they instance? Oh, something? no, no. Yeah, it's, um... Okay, that, okay that's what you mean. Uh, it's like, um... Guild Wars 1, actually. In cities, you can see every, everyone. And then, okay. if, if, if somebody is in your party, they come with you. Okay, that changes it. I understand now. Yeah, okay. I, I'm i sorry, I, I didn't know you were asking. This dude is raining fireballs in my face. Yeah, he needs to go. And it's dealing some damage. Ugh! Slam. And I can slam him too. Yes! Spamming slams! Don't care anymore. Damn, slam. Nice Bunch effect, of actually. Blue stuff, that's cool. Yeah. So these blue stuff are... Obviously, higher quality, and I'm taking all of them. I can actually use this. And they're unidentified, which is exciting, because yeah. they, I think they got rid of that in Diablo 3, which is something I thought was pretty fun. So yeah, maybe next time I'm going to record this, it's going to be with you, I hope. Yeah, maybe I can get into it, and maybe we can play it. But we'll uh, you see. would actually love this game, really, that much. And also, it, it's not like only a beta weekend, it's all the time. I've actually... Played this game over over the course of uh, four days. And the game yeah, is the only thing that kind of puts me off is the economy a little bit. I kind of like gold in general. I like that you can hoard it. And yeah, you get all the special stuff. Me too. But you'll see that 
um, pretty much the the, uh, the currency, the, the scrolls and the orbs that I'm getting right now, they, they're gonna be of, of, of use the entire game. Right. That's nice too. You know, like in right. Diablo 2, uh, if you uh, help somebody that, that, that is low level, well, for, for you, it's, it's a waste of time, because guess what? There's no gold. Yeah. So you're pretty much screwed. And you're like, no, nah, I, I, I'm not, you know, doing profit and stuff. But here, if, if you help somebody that, that is low level, well, guess what? You're, you're going to have good stuff all the way. Well, there's also that point in every Diablo game where you eventually reach, like, maximum saturation for how much gold you can need. Yeah. And you eventually just start piling gold together, and you'll never spend it. Yeah, there's that You know that what I mean? Too. There's always that yeah. part, like, you, you just don't need gold anymore, you just keep getting it. Yeah, you got your your henchman level 67, and then it's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. The gold is just completely incidental, like, it's all about just getting gear at that point, and you're not gonna use the gold to buy gear. You use it to repair stuff sometimes, but you could sell one thing and get all of that back. Yeah. Maybe get... Oh, yeah, is there repairing in this? Nope, there is not. Because okay, that... that's... That's probably good, actually. Yeah, the, because, you know, if there's no currency, how are you going to pay the guy to repair it? Sh sh shit, it doesn't make oh, sense. Oh, scrolls or something, you barter. Well, that would be fucking expensive, man. Well, I don't know. Why are you not dead? Can you shoot lasers yet? Uh, no, but you, you can shoot fireballs and, you know, firestorms. No, I mean lasers, like actual lasers. Oh. I want to shoot those. I don't know, maybe. I, I'm not that far yet. Because that's one thing I think Diablo 3 has on it. You can actually shoot lasers. I think there's an ice spell that, that does that. I would have to check. No, I don't want ice. I want actual lasers. Oh. Like, concentrated light beams that burn things. Ooh. Now, Pretty here's the zombie. thing. Enemies in chest and loot can actually give you skills. Now, the skills in, in this game are in the form of gems. These gems have a uh, separate experience bar and levels, and pretty much you can trade these gems with, with other players. So of course, if you have a maxed skill gem, it's going to be worth like tons and tons, because, you know, time invested and stuff. Yeah. And what's nice is, is that there, there is active skills gems and passive skill gems. Passive skill gems can be linked with other gems. And uh, when it does, well, you're fucking happy. So how does that fit in with the skill tree system? Is there a skill in your this, skill tree that's for no, raising zombies no, also? No, the skill board, or rather yeah. the, the character board, because it's not skills, all of these are passive. Okay. Sometimes it's going to give you something special like... Uh, you know, immune to to fire damage, but, yeah. you know, ice. I think a, a better way to think about it is that those gems you just picked up, like the Ray Zombie one, it's more like a spell. Than a yeah. Skill. Yeah. But then you have, like, slams like these. It's, they're, 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 right. they're not spells. So let's call well, these abilities. Syntax, really. it's Actually, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, no, it doesn't say that it's a skill gem or whatever. Oh, wait, no, yes. Place into you an item that just by using it. Yeah, if you are placing them into your inventory, uh, they're they're gonna start getting ex experience as you use them. Now, right now, I can actually level one of these right now, like this one. See, it, it tells me click to level up this ground slam gem. Um, it's it's annoying at first because why didn't you just level up like on your own? But at some point, yeah. it pays to actually know that your gem is now higher. They do this because if you uh, level up your gem too quickly, oh shit! Wow. Ah, oh, the game knows I'm recording, and it's like, hey, look, use this. Really? So I got Ray Zombie and Detonate Dead. Go away. I'm explaining something. Detonate Dead deals 2-3 physical damage, explosion deals base fire damage equals to 18% of the corpse maximum life. Man. So I have another question about the leveling of these. So if you use Ground Slam to kill whatever minor zombie fodder, will it give you less experience than if you killed a boss with the Ground Slam? No, it, whenever the enemies dies, they give you uh, skill gem XP. And it's the same skill gem XP regardless of what enemy yes, it is. Yes, I have okay. actually checked this. 
So I it's do... more like just ticking off a box saying you killed a number of whatever. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't I do not know if if you have like um you you know um how can I say um oh, this kid, this, this dude, that guy's this hard damage. get out of there he's gonna kill you no oh slam oh he's fast too you're not doing much damage no my weapon is not high enough and oh shit and he can stun me too which is crap it, it's it's a problem in right, worst case scenario I die no big deal actually oh yeah what happens when you die in this. Uh, you just re respawn. You don't lose gold. You you do not lose experience. You just respawn in town or close. So what's the penalty then? I've never died actually so far. Oh well, you might almost be. Oh, never mind. Thought you're about to. Oh no! I get him. Yes. Oh, you know another really stupid thing that they changed in Diablo is now your potions heal you instantaneously. What? Yeah, when you hit Q to de use a potion, it just fills up your bar. Wow. Which so I remember this. constantly being in a struggle with something beating me to death, and I was like spamming potions trying to heal faster, or running away because you needed to, but now it's just like, heal, done. Yeah. Unless that was like a special ability that a Berserker had or something, maybe it is. Yep. I'm not an expert at Diablo 3, so clearly I could be wrong about something. Yeah. I say uh, we're going to have to play some more and just check if the game becomes better at, at some point. Because there's, you know, there's skills, and then there's skills that might affect the skills, and these yeah. are, are, are only unlocked at level 6 and 12 and such, so maybe there is, like, skill points that we just not don't know, so... Maybe. I hope so, but they better be. No. Fuck you. So I guess that, that's pretty much it. It's just to show that this game. Uh, game gets better as you move on. It, you know, there is more character customization, and the fact that your stash is actually linked to all of your character is nice, because, you know, with some with, with someone you might get something that, that is really nice and amazing, yeah. and that it makes you shudder in excitement. Torchlight did that too, I thought that was a good move. Yeah. Did you say what, uh, if you knew what the level cap was for this game? I don't remember. It's... Uh, yes, I've checked the w the website. 100. Damn, that's For nice. now. For now. So, it, you know... If, if, well, if, I'd be satisfied with 100 in general, but for now, if it goes higher, that's even better. Yeah. So now, something that, you, that might surprise you, this uh, quest gives you a special or magic flask. That you can choose either uh, life or mana. I'll take life because that last boss nearly killed me. Now, what's nice is that this is a magic item, and it's gonna give me 50% increased recovery speed. Neat. Does your belt ever get bigger, or is it always five no, slots? It's only five. Oh. But these stats. You can't like buy a better belt with two tiers. <laughs> no. But then the potions just keep getting better with more charges, and you know right, right, each right. use will heal you faster and better. And I actually and even have if you get a good enough one, you only need one, and you don't even need three. Yeah, on my uh, witch, I have a uh, minor mana, mana potion that that pretty much uh, stops me from burning. Every burn damage are are completely cancelled on me, uh -huh. and. I want to trash it, but every time I'm like, dude, I can't burn, it's so amazing. Don't do it. So I'm going to stash these skill gems, because I, I have no use for them for this character. And ha I have like this much in two hours. You know? And there's no chance of your inventory getting any bigger, right? There's no like Herodric's cube or anything? No, but you have four panels in the stash. Right, I meant on your, on your person, though. No, I don't think there's that's gonna happen, but, but uh, it's because at some point, white items becomes useless, and you just stop grabbing them. You there's even, them, so yeah, I there's even a uh, option that tells you to stop showing you white items because they are not worth anything, and you don't need wow. them. So, yeah, pretty much all you want are blue items and gold items. It's because the real way to get rich in, in this game is to trade with players instead of NPCs. You yeah. know? Because then you, 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 you can trade stuff for stuff that people want. And vice versa. 
Yeah, and it changes the idea of the game a little bit, knowing that whenever you play it, there's going to always be people online with you, as opposed to where Diablo, you could play the game like a single-player game, yeah. which is what I usually choose to do. Now, see, I got, I actually got all of, of these skills. I got all of them. So I'll, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a heavy strike, I guess, even though I got it twice al already. So your skills just sit in your inventory like items. That's it. Yeah. They don't have like a special page you put them. No. Well, I oh. I could, you know, I'm gonna keep stay, uh, page four for them for them. I guess. Oh, I meant in your in your person inventory though. No, not no. <clears throat> it seems like they should sort of partition off your your backpack and your skills because why would skills take up a physical inventory slot? Yeah, I'm thinking that the. Um, the orbs and all of these scrolls should actually be like this too, because you know they are kind of like money, but the game doesn't allow you to do that, which is it's it's not oh. sad, but maybe it's, it's gonna a little be unfortunate. I, I think. Yeah, but the game, you know, the game is new, so maybe they're they're gonna do this, but oh. not now. And they can always patch it and change it later if people yeah. hate it. But yeah, I guess that's what the beta is about, figuring exactly. that out. There's a big farm, and they are changing stuff constantly, so you know. I guess right now fixing bugs is really up the issue. And that's right. a new kind of gem, so... Wow. All of these. Oh. There's even one to change the colors of, of the socket. And there's another one which I already used, but... Uh, there's one that gives you... Um, a chance to have more sockets. You know, this, this weapon has two, it could have three, or one, or two, or four, or five. You know. Can you make your weapons glow colors? No... Damn it. Space Rainbow on Maces. It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. That was probably the only cool thing I liked about World of Warcraft. <laughs> Shiny items? <laughs> yeah, well, you could make your daggers be whatever color you want if you felt like it. Man, this staff level 1 is useless, but it shines in the dark! <laughs> well, no, you would enchant them. You wouldn't just find a staff that glows. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that works too. <laughs> I advertised PoE on D3 beta chats and got banned. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, who needs commentating when you got a hilarious chat log going on in front of you? Yeah. These guys are amazing right now. They're, they are u they're usually not that uh, active nor funny, but they know we are here. It's like, ah. Oh. They are recording. Let's make it fun. Actually, oh, yeah. um, can you ask? Can you ask in game if anyone has an extra key for me? <laughs> no. They won't do that. Okay. I'm not gonna whore myself just for you. No offense. Oh, fist weapons. Hmm. Yes. I am Wolverine. That's bad. That's lame, actually. Going out. I said going out. Get out of my inventory, bitch. Get out of it. There you go. Oh, also, some uh, items will not give you armor. They're going to give you something else. Like evasion or shield. There is hollow shields in that game. I'm not even kidding. It's not even a joke. Hmm. My uh, witch actually has like 60 shield and it goes up fast. It's it's it, it's useful, but then she has like 250 health, so whatever. She doesn't take shit. And I guess this video is done. That's pretty much all I want to show you guys. This game is fun. You should get it, or at least you know investigate, and then get it. You should get the uh, the like $50 pack that comes with extra beta keys and then send me one. <laughs> I don't know if, if for 5 bucks I, I can actually, you know, invite somebody. I'll check. Maybe. There, no, well, there's higher tiered packages and they come with certain amounts of extra beta keys if you pay more than like, well, the cheapest yeah, but one. You, 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 you can upgrade your, uh, your, your pack. Oh. For, for my, you know, for 5 more bucks I can upgrade to this one and stuff. I so, thought it said on the website you couldn't upgrade, you could just at buy another of the same one. Nope, you can upgrade. Okay. Well, except if you want the same pack, you know, the same one that you have right now, then you have to buy another one, of course, but... You can, you, 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 you can upgrade for a reduced price. So that's it. Thank you for watching. 
and uh, you know, check the game and buy it and play with it. play with it. with it. yeah. There's no guilds though, so ah, uh, no oh, Legion of the Space wars. Cancer Birdie, not gonna happen. Makes me. And sad. you can't build your own tabard. No. Oh no. It's sad, right? Fuck, man. What about achievements? Nope. It doesn't update to Twitter when you get a level? Nope. Oh man, Diablo 3 is so much better. I know, right? Man. <laughs>